Nelly with Ride With Me. CBT guitar lesson for Andre. Andre, percussive R&B, funky. Um, you got this main chord progression going through the song. And a secondary one, which I kind of combined them, is doing some muted stuff with some down-up picking. So uh, not a whole lot, but it's also not in your face. It does not mean it's easy, okay? So let's um, jump in, especially if you haven't done a lot with muting. And also hammering on two notes in a chord, which they do here. Bar the seventh fret, D string, all the way down through the high E with your index. You're going to strum them and hammer two fingers, the middle to 8B, the third finger to 9D. So you're skipping the G completely. When you do that, you got to make sure that when you bring these this finger down, that it doesn't kill this note or kill the high E with the middle. You should hear four notes. Okay, well, after you do it, go down up on the chord and then... Just relieve pressure, but keep the chord form. Well, you don't have to keep the chord form, but you're going to go like this. You actually want to do it in transitioning. Down, up, down, up. Basically last four strings or so. So. This one is 3D. Index. Pinky. Bar the 6th fret on the G and B. You're going to strum those, slide them up one fret to four and to seven. Once you do that, go down up on it. So you have down up, down up on the mutes. And the last one's the same as this one. But it starts on fret 1 on the D, and 4th fret G and B, barred with the pinky. Slide it up to the 2nd and 5th fret, and then go down up on the chord, and then you just, there's nothing there. You don't have to go on that one. Instead, and this was done on another guitar track, but you have room to play it here. Palm mute everything, so, okay, and then here's your melody. Actually, try it first without palm muting. And it's alternate picks. 7, 9, G. And then 8, B to 9, G. You're going to do it twice. So, um, And then once you got comfortable with that, which is pretty quick, man. It may take, take a while to do that. But then bring the palm muting in. Okay, that's section uh, 1A. Comes in at 31 seconds. Section 1B at 35 seconds is the same thing for the first two thirds, or almost two thirds. It's actually, the chordings, check this out. You're just not doing the mutes. And you don't karate chop it here. Same thing here. And then, uh, then uh, instead of the third chord, you're gonna go like this. All palm mutes. And it's gonna be on the G string, so it'll go that's the first half. I'm going seven nine nine. Mute the string, just relieve the pressure, and then seven nine. So it's and then go seven nine seven, and then eight seven B, and a nine G. But I start with an up. that one. If you don't want to palm mute it at first, just play it without it. Oops. That would be that without palm muting. Alright, section 1C, 40 seconds in, you're back to the chords. No muting though. And that's going to go 28 times thereabout. Three, four. This is an easier way if you 
these if chord two and three just seem too ridiculous, you could go. You could do uh, sixth fret D, G, and B sliding to sevens. Fourth fret D through B sliding to fifth fret. Sounds almost exactly the same, but it is. I can hear that bass note in there, so. But that's a way to simplify it. Okay. Um, 257, section 1A, one time, no star. So when you see the star, don't play anything under that, until you, and you'll see star end, and then you can play after that. Three minutes in, you'll have another little filler here, palm muted on the G, and it's alternate picked, 7999979. There it is. two time stamp section one two times and then there's a break with nothing and then section 1c at three minutes 30 seconds in 15 times or till the fade out section 1c is just this the main groove 